So we, we want to conclude and see in our conclusion how we can overcome what it is that overcame Ephesus. History tells us that Ephesus, Biblical Ephesus is today in the nation of Turkey. And we know that that is an Islamic nation, even though I hear that there are a few churches now and again. But we've never really heard of the church in Ephesus. So it would appear that the lampstand was taken away and that darkness befell darkness. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16, Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16, the Bible tells us that, he, uh, uh, the, that we are the light of the world. It says, you, the Christians, we are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be healed. In other words, men do not carry, it says, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lamp stand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. This is the place that God has brought the church to, where our light is shining in the midst of darkness. The Bible says that that light shines and darkness cannot comprehend it. Darkness cannot overshadow it. Darkness cannot overrun it. Evil will have no place. If you are in an, if you are in an organization, evil should not be able to overrun that organization because you are there. If you have other believers in that organization, evil should not be able to overrun that, that, that organization because you are there. But if evil is overrunning that organization whilst you are there, it means that there is no light in you. Put differently, it means that the Lord has removed his lampstand from you and those other believers in that location. And so evil continues in the place. The same applies to the church in the locality. In 1 John chapter 1, 1 John chapter 1, from verse 5 to verse 9, the Bible says, this is the message which we have heard from him, that is from the Lord Jesus Christ, and we declare to you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. We cannot say that we have fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ and we are walking in darkness. We cannot say we have fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ and in our locality, in our neighborhood, in our offices, there is darkness around us. There is darkness within us. The Lord said, if, if, if your eye is single, light will come into your body. The whole body will have light. But if what you call light is darkness, he said, how great is that darkness? When he talked about removing the lampstand from their place, if they did not repent, he was saying that darkness will overcome darkness. So repent, not just for your sake, but also for the sake of your locality. There is not one of us here whose entire family is saved. So if darkness were to overshadow our locality, maybe we'll be able to cry for God to help us. But what of our relatives? What of others who don't know God? In verse 7 it says, But if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with Him, with one another, rather, and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we walk with him, and he is in the light, and we are walking with him, then we are also in the light. Is that not so? 